good evening hello raj how are you i'm fine thank you and how are you i'm doing pretty well thank you for asking how did your day go oh it was an unproductive one okay mm -hmm. hello yeah it's fine now is it okay yeah okay perfect yes okay very well great so um how are your uh, math tuitions going on um is it in full swing uh it's quite good not in full swing but it's uh, quite good quite good okay yeah. um did you form a good rapport with the, any student lately uh nothing of that sort till date yeah okay is it a conscious decision to not um have a very friendly bond with students because i know that some teachers feel if you're very friendly uh students might take advantage or they will stop taking you seriously so do you have this uh, thought in the back of your mind no, not at all i am friendly okay. with all of my uh, students because okay. i feel that uh, if you pressurize uh, anyone you won't be able to get your things done or you won't be able to convey your message only with the love you can make others believe in you or believe in your uh, advices mm -hmm. so i follow that hmm okay okay very well very well uh pretty good and uh, did you also have such uh, friendly teachers back when you were growing up or most of them were pretty much strict only uh, as a school going kid i had the strict teachers and uh, when i uh, started my uh, coaching journey like hmm. uh, when i was in uh, higher school at that point of time i used to be in a government school so i mm. was dependent more on my uh, coaching so yeah. the coaching for lenient one hmm okay perfect so yes thank you for answering that so i think now we can quickly dive into the session topic which is the importance of time so shall we discuss a little on this today yeah sure okay so first of all i want you to tell me the meaning of time flies what does that mean uh time flies means the time passes by especially if you are busy in something you would not mm. even be able to notice that mm. how much time you have spent exactly uh so do you also experience this pretty often when you are with your friends you feel like time flies yeah of course <laughs> and even if uh, i am in in this sessions especially mm. with you So mm -hmm. it feels like your time has uh, flown by. Oh, thirty minutes really... or twenty minutes uh, is too uh, too less for us. Oh, that's really sweet of you. So now the opposite of time flies. Do you know what it is? Time flies means time goes by very quickly when you are enjoying. Yeah, that's for sure. What could be the opposite of this? Any idea? Mm. Time. Uh, like, I, I kind of. Uh, Uh-huh. Do you any I'm idea? I'm forgetting this. No. No problem. The phrase is time drags, which means time feels slow yeah. in situations of boredom. When you're very bored and you don't know what to do, you can say that time okay. drags, man. Right. Right. That. Yeah. Next one. I'll give you one sentence, and you can tell me the meaning of the time phrase in that. Okay. So. Okay. Raj has proven himself reliable time and again. raj has proven himself reliable time and again so now what is the meaning of time and again well i would like to give another example on this that mm -hmm. uh, mega has given me the same feedback time and again that i should smile more while conversing mm -hmm. very intelligent yes <laughs> please be kind enough and break it down to for me <laughs> okay yeah. so uh, like you always speak uh, about this thing that i should smile more i should uh, be in the session be in my elements so that i could share 
or I could improve on my non-verbal communication. Yes, absolutely. So uh, time and again means repeatedly or uh, frequently. All right. Right. Okay. Very good. Very good. So what I'll be doing now, Raj, I will share a small image with you on the screen. Okay. Um, yeah. You have to tell me what it is trying to represent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just allow me a couple of seconds. Yes. Hmm. So uh, are you a very punctual person, Raj? Do you make sure that you reach venues on time? You meet people at the right time? Definitely, uh, especially if it is uh, something important, for example, yes, mm -hmm. uh, maybe, uh, or what I have also observed it that if you have to do something very important, uh, mm -hmm. you would do it on time, like those right. people who are not punctual, even yes. they would reach on time if they are <laughs> if they have to attend any meeting or any exam for that matter. They definitely reach on time, but on the other occasion, on a regular mm. uh, office day or on a mm. regular school day, whatever it is, they mm. they do not reach. Hmm. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. So now you can see this image. Observe it carefully and tell me what it is trying to represent about the work culture of today's time and age. Now the work culture. Now what it is trying to say about that. Okay, so uh, in today's era, hmm. we, we are living in an era where we hardly have time for us and we hmm. uh, always are running after so many hmm. things. Yes. So life is so fast paced that we do not have time for ourselves. And hmm. that is what we can see from this picture as well, that the person hmm. trying to reach on his destination as soon as possible because he don't mm -hmm. want to be late. He don't want to or he doesn't want to? Oh, he doesn't want to get late. Sorry. Yeah. He doesn't want to get late. Absolutely. So can we say that uh, everybody is running a race against time these days? Yeah. Running a race against time. Okay. This is the phrase you were looking for. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, not really. I wasn't looking for it intentionally. I uh, just thought of sharing it with you because, again, as I mentioned, there's no right or wrong answer. It's all about your perspective. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, had I uh, recalled it, it would have yeah. a proper answer for this picture. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. So some words that you can you could have used to relate to this picture. Number one, fast paced. Everything has become so fast paced. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Second is race against time that we've already discussed right now. Third okay. is punctuality. Everyone wants to be punctual. Everyone is very late these days. Uh, so punctuality right. is something that we can uh, discuss here. Yes, okay. sure. Okay. And uh, can you describe a significant moment in your life when time played a crucial role? It could be maybe an exam, the birth of a, a niece, nephew or a younger sibling. So any significant moment in your life where time played a crucial role? Mm. Could you uh, break this question for me? Definitely. So one moment in my life when time played a very crucial role was during one of my exams uh, back when I was in the third year of my engineering. Okay. Uh, the first few questions, I took my own sweet time. I wrote it very slowly. I thought there's so much time left. What's the need to hurry? But then when there was just one hour left, I realized I have a lot of questions to tackle. And that is when time played a crucial role. I was in a race against time. I tried to hurry up. I was constantly looking at my watch, trying to make sure that I'm not falling behind. So something of this sort. I hope it made sense. Yeah, sure. Okay. So I, I would uh, say that I have, been in this situation or even today i feel that i am in this situation because i'm looking for my niche so mm -hmm. i constantly feel that okay whatever time that i have spent or i have wasted uh, mm -hmm. was like that i used to think that i have lots of time but now 
I am running mm -hmm. short of that. Hmm. Okay. Do you feel some kind of anxiety, or do you feel like there's a lot of catching up that you need to do? Definitely. Yeah. And uh, that's why when I had started, hmm. I hope I, I mean, you might remember this that I had told you in the very first uh, in the beginning days that I hmm. want to be on the other side by the end of this year. Hmm. So that year has passed by, another year has passed by, and almost three months of this year has also passed by. Uh, I'm not able to reach to that position wherever I wanted to. And uh, sometimes I feel clueless that, okay, whatever I could have done, I have mm. done from my side. What else? Mm. Or how much uh, more time I'm going to, how much time, how much extra time I'm going to take? Or more is also accurate. Maybe. How much more time I'm yeah. going, to more time going to take? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. And I also feel like what happens with me personally is whenever I go on social media, uh, you see a lot of achievers who are incredibly young, right? Not many, right. few of them. Uh, by 21, they've started a job. By 25, they've become millionaires. By 28, they have three, four properties in major cities of the country. So yeah. uh, these things are highlighted more. So you feel like, okay, are they extremely good or are we extremely slow <laughs> so you have these kind of questions in your mind all right yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, certainly in this kind of situation i only think uh, on that uh, line that we should not compare mm -hmm. ourselves to others because whatever we are we have mm -hmm. been made because of the circumstances we were in and the yes. kind of ambience that we got the kind of involvement we had while growing up. So instead of comparing, we should mm. focus on uh, utilizing our time to mm. the best of the oppor opportunities that are available to us. And that is how I try to keep uh, a, a cool mind in these situations. Mm. That is how we try to keep a cool mind. Okay, very well. Um, yes, that's the only option, right? Uh, we cannot yeah. let ourselves get too stressed or too restless. It's not good for us. You're right. <laughs> okay, pretty good. All right, then. And um, hmm. uh, I completely, you know, lost track of my thoughts right now because <laughs> I completely went into yeah. that zone. <laughs> okay. Yes. So when you were in school or college, were you good at time management during tests and examinations? Mm. If I talk about my schools, I, I was not good at these things at all. But mm. later, uh, during my college days, mm -hmm. I, I had become quite good at it because at that point of time, I was more focused on this. Uh, because mm -hmm. I had decided that this is the only thing that I have. I have to do something. And I mm -hmm. keep trying hard. I mean, I keep trying hard. Uh, mm -hmm. But but it's okay. Whatever has to happen has happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, because I think these things are very funny when you think about it, about school, college. Uh, during examinations, the teacher threatening to snatch your paper away and you're like, ma'am, please, one more minute, two more minutes. So when you look yeah. back, these things are kind of hilarious. All right. Yeah, because at that moment, uh, completing that one answer, putting that last full stop is the most important thing in, in our lives at that All right, moment, right, right. All right. Okay, okay, great. Um, so in your opinion, see, we all go through different stages in our life. So from being infants, then childhood, uh, adolescence, uh, adulthood, then we become senior citizens, right? So out of all these stages or timelines in our life, uh, which one do you feel is the golden period? Childhood. Childhood, of course. I, I would go with childhood. Because there you, you do not have any worry. Your mind mm -hmm. is free of these things. You mm -hmm. are 
curious to know different things. You are ready to explore different things. And you do not have any kind of uh, negativity at the same time as well. Mm. And you, you are free to enjoy your life. So <laughs> I think childhood is the golden time, for sure. Mm. And what about you? Uh, I think for me, I think adulthood, I would prefer. Um, because I've learned a lot of uh, valuable lessons during this period. Right. About myself, about people, about life in general. And I'm still learning. It's not like I've become a pro. I'm still learning a lot of interesting things. And uh, when we are adults, we also have some amount of autonomy over what we can do and what we cannot do. So the, there's no one controlling us. Right? So I really appreciate uh, the freedom of the stage of our lives. So for me, this would be the golden period. Okay. Great. Yeah. And that the perspective that you put in was nice there. I mean, yeah. it's nice. Thank you so much. Uh, so when you think about it, when we are kids, our parents control everything that we do. And when we become very old, I'm talking about after 70, 80, uh, maybe uh, some people might not be in a position to function independently. They might be dependent on their children, grandchildren, for whatever reasons. Right. Yeah. But the period in between, you can live your life however you want. So <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, it is good uh, to have this period and especially the kind of freedom that mm. certain people has. Because mm. even during this time, uh, yeah. especially in our uh, country and uh, in the middle class family, there yes. are people who do not have that freedom at all. Mm. So... Because Surely. of that, because of that, uh, they say that childhood is the golden or has been their golden period of, of time. And uh, I agree. Uh, related to something like that, what uh, when I came up with that answer, there was something related to that in my mind for sure. Hmm. I completely respect that, you know, because every person's life story is different. Um, Definitely. Every person's childhood is different, adulthood is different, later stages of, of life are different. And we right. all answer from that perspective. So I completely respect uh, the area from where you are coming, right? So, no. Right. And, and that's what I said, that the, uh, the perspective that you put in, if, mm -hmm. if I look from that uh, side, of course, yes. mm -hmm. uh, that there are people who enjoy their life that way. So of course, mm -hmm. for them, that would be golden period for sure. Yes, I understand completely. So yes, yeah. um, feedback for the day. You performed well on the activity, uh, the image description task. You were able to understand the essence of that image. And we learned some phrases related to time, right? Uh, and some yeah. vocabulary as well. Your answers today were very uh, logical, pretty descriptive. And it's good that you took the feedback and did not use the phrase like, I'm not sure, I don't know, not needed. Good that you took the feedback and didn't incorporate it oh, yeah. in any of your answers. Of course. Yes, yes, perfect. So you came to the main point, right? So that is amazing. So a small assignment for you. Uh, this is going to be a writing assignment because I want you to pen down your thoughts as much as you can, freely. All right. There's a beautiful saying in English, which is time heals all wounds. I'm sure you must have heard of this. Yeah, of course. Okay, time heals all wounds. So I want you to write down a couple of sentences, six to seven at least, in whether or not you believe in this. If yes, then why do you agree? Or if no, then why do you disagree with the same? Uh, clear? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yes. Time heals all wounds. Because the speaking practice, any way you do, very consistently in a week. Uh, writing helps you to understand your own thoughts, all the latent thoughts that you have in your mind. Writing helps right. you to understand that. So go for it. Yeah, sure. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, any questions? Uh, no, not at all. And we are almost to end. Look, the time has right by. Oh, yes, time has flown by. And how? <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Flown by. Yeah, flown by. Time has flown by. Yes, uh, absolutely. Two or three mistakes. Again, mm -hmm. I should be careful. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Okay. I was thinking about those mistakes like do and flight and I did another one. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. That's okay. Good. Things are uh, non-systematic yeah. errors, which means you don't do them often. It's just maybe a sl slip of the tongue. It's right. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Don't about it. Much about it. Yeah. Sure. Sure. So, Soki, okay. see you All in right, another then. session. Bye for Absolutely. now. I hope and, time flies by yeah. soon and I have another session. <laughs> yeah, sure. Have a nice time. Yes, bye-bye.